and welcome to our Sage Talk. I am so pleased to introduce to you Maurice Graham. Maurice has been one of our charter members here at Elder Pride, and I've invited him to share with us today via the Share Talk, this Sage Talk. Maurice? Thank you very much, Reverend Jack. Um, what a pleasure it is to be here. What a pleasure it is to be in a place in my life where I recognize how spirit has moved me to a place of knowing that spirit is everywhere, throughout all the experiences that I've had in my life and throughout the world. So I'd like to talk about spirit within. This has been a um, experience in revealing the presence of spirit through the circumstances and situations of my life. I've learned to be of service. The spirit that I am speaking of is love. And so when I am in service to spirit, I literally am in service to love. I embody it. It lives, moves, and has its being through me. And I'm grateful to know that today. It's been a long road in getting here. I understand that in time, we will all reach a point of enlightenment. One where we are able to recognize, no matter what the situation might be, that spirit is in charge. Not only in charge, but guiding, guarding, and directing us on a path where we become more and more aware of its presence. That is such a gift to know that all the things that I've been through are like a rite of passage. I know that I have come into this experience being human. I am a spiritual being having a human experience. And this experience being human is about the awareness of the presence of that spirit as it moves through me. This individual has the expression known as Maurice Graham, also known as Afotekwesi. That is my African designation uh, as this individualized expression. But the truth is, I am is who I really am. And I'm grateful today to recognize that this is the truth not only of myself, but for all who are present today on earth, all who have been present and have moved on, and all who will be. So I'm talking about eternity. Outside of this experience of time, there is no time. In fact, the only reference that I can have to the what is, is through my intuition. And I thank God for the recognition that I am divinely connected to a source that knows all things, is present everywhere, and is powerful enough to transform my life and the lives of those people that I come into contact with on a day-by-day -day basis. It's always in the moment that it happens. When I have no words to say to friends and family who may be in distress, I can get out of the way and let spirit speak through me. I have the power that God has given me to step aside 
let the ego move to the back and let spirit speak. I'm grateful for the opportunities that have been presented to me because I've had my challenges. <laughs> oh, I've done some things in my life that have really, um, let's just say, exposed the range of the experiences and duality that cover everything from the highest highs to the lowest lows. I have uh, experienced addiction. I've experienced emotional and mental stress, physical abuse, sexual abuse. I've experienced life-threatening illnesses. And all of those things could not stand in the face of the truth that God is all there is. And that there is no thing greater than that experience. I am so sure of it today because I can recognize its presence throughout my life, even when I didn't think it was present. In retrospect, I can look back and see how it was working in my life. I'm grateful for those sages that came before me, including Reverend Jack and my parents, their friends, my relatives, uncles and aunts who have gone before me, my grandparents. I know that as I move through this experience, there have been things that have been passed on to me. What, what might be considered good and bad. But I know that in this experience, I have the ability to end some of the things that have been passed on that have had a negative effect on my life. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share those things with others. And as I'm sharing them and helping them see past the circumstances in their lives, we get to arrest and move on some of the things that have been plaguing our families for years and years. My experience is working with those things that have come out of a period of enslavement forced upon us and the effects of that. I'm recognizing what that looks like in my experience in relationships with others, in relationship with myself and in relationship with spirit. As I move through those situations and circumstances and am released from the bondage created by those things, I see spirit more clearly. I understand that I'm part of a larger experience that's going on right here on earth right now. And it is happening throughout the universe. That is where my creative energy brings in all the things that are necessary. Because through prayer, I'm able to state who spirit is in my life, how I unify with that spirit, and then declare the presence of that spirit wherever I am in whatever circumstance I may be experiencing. And I'm also able to know the truth for others. This is a great and powerful tool because when I release it to the universe, I provided a mold and spirit fills it. It always says yes. So I'm conscious 
of what it is that I am creating most of the time. But this is the way spirit works. I've had the privilege of working for spirit in different parts of the world, bringing enlightenment through the education process. Also, as a member of a community that knows the truth, that God is all there is. And if that is the truth, and it is, then wherever I go, I'm bringing love with me. And so I'm loving the circumstances and situations of the people that I meet. I'm loving the different cultures, languages, food, and the way we practice connecting with a power greater than ourselves. I am using my experience to open the door for those who would think critically about the circumstances and situations in their lives and providing an opportunity to think again. Instead of reacting to circumstances and situations, responding from a place of love. This is the opportunity that has been given to me through Elder Pride. I've been part of a group of people who have anchored me even through this pandemic that we're experiencing, has stimulated my mind, has given me a place to come and share those intimate details about the experiences in living a day at a time and growing older gracefully. I welcome anyone who is seeking connection, who is seeking the opportunity to support others, seeking a greater awareness of the presence of a power that can move mountains, transform the very circumstances and situations that look like they're life-threatening into an experience of love. Love is the answer to whatever the question might be. And I wanna give this back over in love to Reverend Jack. Thank you. Thank you, Maurice. Your words, you are spirit, you are one with spirit, but you are such a gentle spirit. And what I hope folks will do is I hope where they will come and play with us so they can get to know you more and to really get the, the sage advice that you have to offer. Because I think we are here to mentor to folks to help them understand how to get from where they are to where they want to be. And what I love about your story is you just don't tell the story about being stuck in how life happened to you. You put your focus on how I got over, how I got out, how I survived. And that's what we are here to teach. That's what we are here to offer. So thank you for being a part of today's Sage Talk and we'll see you soon. Thank you, Reverend Jack. Namaste.